Hey there. Cedric here coming at you with more of the joys of Kevlar. Um, here I got like this little scrap, okay? And here I've got some 300 pound heavy nylon tubular rope here, heavy braided. We're just going to mess around. Let me make sure I got this about the level so y'all can see it. I made a loop in the end so that I could reach it up to see you and, you know, waste a minimal amount of rope. Uh, let me just throw a knot in this, something to hold on to. Now, I've heard, like, uh, that you can actually use this to, to cut through flex cuffs. I don't know if that's true, but... I want to see what I can do with this 300 pound nylon. Wow. Wow. Look at that. So we're going to make us another little loop there. Get the most pluck for a buck out of this rope. What's that? Double it up? Okay. I can do that. This is a, a remnant that I had laying around. Not quite long enough to, to make anything with. But long enough for us to have some fun with. So how y'all doing today? Me just kind of kind of chilling, hanging in, making some stuff. There's this nice lady that uh, takes care of... She's the, the supervisor of some of the parks over here at our public parks and she just always you know just really really works hard keep them look nice so I made her uh, a glow-in-the-dark <coughs> emergency rope supply keychain now we got it doubled up so we took her that today when we took the dogs to the park and my wife made her a really nice um, crocheted water bottle holder wow you guys look at this just saws right through. I made a couple of individual strands into a rope. Well, it's getting hot enough that it's actually it's melting the the rope. See the blue on there? It's melting some of the rope. That rocks. Let me see. Let me see what else I got. I don't want to burn up any of my good rope. You know what I mean, jelly beans? I don't have any uh, any other scraps laying around of the heavier ropes. Quadruple. Say what? That's crazy. What is that man thinking? There's no way. There's no way that it can work, man. There's no way, dude. There's no way. Well. After messing with this, I mean, I can really see how it could conceivably cut through flex cuffs. Conceivably. I'm not saying that it's. I feel like I'm probably making this more difficult than it has to be. The joys of Kevlar. I got some cool stuff up on eBay. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Some of the stuff that I got on there. Pretty pretty hardcore slick. Pretty cool. Thank you all to dig it. Hey, check this out. I'll show you this real quick. After we chop through four. Or see if we can because I understand like okay the heat and work work and work in the, the Kevlar now Kevlar is so badass that the only thing that can hurt it is Kevlar well not completely but so like it actually will snip itself at a knot right so let's let's see here I think you'll be able to see y'all Now let's let's try something different. Hold on, hold on here, because a single dab of hot glue 
all right? And hot glue guns, they're, they're dirt cheap, man. It takes like a glue stick and a little dab of hot glue and you could hold a coil of Kevlar in your belt, okay? So, let's try that. I'm going to put this in here like I've got it hot glued, okay? Back behind the belt. We're just going to see real quick. Easier if I put the knot on top. Get her tied up here. And I was like, what's wrong with him? That dude just ain't right. That dude just ain't right. I agree. There's lots of folks agree with you. Especially whoever you folks are who are flagging my videos. It's pretty weak stuff, y'all. Pretty weak stuff. Even for you. Okay, so it's a pretty crappy job, y'all. Right, I admit that. But we get the point here. And I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can We're gonna do it in front. So I've snuck this out of my belt. Alright, and I'm tied super tightly. probably would have to get it through around both because I would be tied much more tightly than this. So we've got it around those. How much? Won't be able to put a lot of uh, a lot easier if I could get it around just a single part of this. Let's see. If we can get it around a single part, I'll even be happy if I can do that, y'all. At this point. I think, like, my, my crappy tie job is working against me here. So... Man, I'd end up dying. They just like they'd kill me. They'd come in. They'd be like, "Dude, you've been trying to saw through those for like 27 minutes." I wonder if we can use the knot as a guide. So this. Could if we can get it up against the knot, and then maybe that'll keep it in one spot instead of creeping around.
but it's better than dying. Well, if you have scissors, you're gonna use those instead. But now we get out of there. So it can be done with perseverance. It can be done. Use the knot to help guide your rope or uh, your Kevlar saw. If you can get that up against the knot or the the fastener part on the zip tie then that'll help you keep it in one spot so it doesn't dance around and not do the work. So it worked. We got free. What else we got? can't think of anything so instead I'll show you a couple of the, the new things I got going on here check them out y'all these are Kevlar hybrids this this is triple strand of the uh, 1,600 pound safe working load Kevlar I made three strand rope out of that. That's 4,800 pounds worth of rope. This, this, it's over 30 feet of 1,600 pound Kevlar in here. And you got about 8 to 10 feet of the uh, poly rope with the 300 pound safe working load. Rugged reliability. It's about 9.5 inches long. Half inch piece of steel rod in there. Oh. Man, such a nasty hitter, y'all. Call it the Toxic Tommy there. You remember some time back I made another of the Toxic Tommy. And here, the Night Saber. Just cool, y'all. Check it out. It's the Blow in the Dark Cord. 100 pounds, safe work and load. And there's about, uh, about 10 feet in here. And then, triple strand. 1,000 pounds, safe work and load Kevlar. 30 feet. Over 30 feet in here, y'all. And these suckers, let me tell ya. Well, you all saw me break the brick with the wand. You saw me go to town with this one. This is all glow in the dark. Right here. Man, what a wicked hybrid. It's got really good flex, really good bounce. Excellent, excellent key fobs. Emergency rope supply, like that. And these ones I do not have on eBay. This is like the sneakest peekest right here. It's a sneak peek, y'all. Okay. I got some black mil spec, military specification. Seven strand, type three, 550 paracord. Paired it up with triple strand Kevlar rope made from 1,000 pounds. So that's three strands of 1,000 pound rope for a grand total of over 30 feet of 1,000 pound Kevlar. Look at that. Call that the Arizona Killer B, y'all. A viper. Match. It's hard. It's hard. Not even trying. Ooh. I don't know why, y'all. I don't know why. Then here. I don't know what to call this. I think the gent. It's the Technora with the black mill spec 550. This is triple strand, 750 pound Technora for a grand total of over 30 feet. 750 pound Technora line. Look at that. I think I call it the gent because it looks like a gentleman's suit, you know? The proper gent there. And this, you know, they're just, just cool. Man, just really good bounce. You've got the rugged reliability of, of the, the, the paracord 
with the stronger than steel Technora and Kevlar and just wow they all they're just beautiful these ones I didn't put up on eBay I'm thinking about selling those outside of eBay you let me know what you think cool little Kevlar saws let me see what else we got oh you know what hell hold on let me see hey 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 I do have one I do have a little scrap let's see how we can do this This is 3 8 inch poly rope, 300 pound safe working load, and I'm just holding this by little knots at the end, so you know I can't really put a lot of a lot of power into this. Look at that, and now. That got hot enough there's a little smoke coming off of there. Look at it. <laughs> Man. This is something to have in your, your survival kit, y'all. Super simple. You could tie yourself some little loops on the end even. Then you could have it hooked around your fingers for easier sawing. Pretty slick. So, this is said you're saying be prepared. We hope for the best, prepare for the worst. If you want peace, you prepare for war. Always be ready. Hold your heads high and be good to yourselves. You live free, you punch hard, and be fierce in the defense of who you are. And I dig you. I'll catch y'all later, okay?